I'm talking about the spiral. Now we're getting into the geometry. Well, the geometry falls back on another player, Chris Hardacre. Chris Hardacre is another crazy man. And so how this happened, I don't know, but Chris ended up living with me in Gallup for a while. I don't, I can't recall how this all came about, but he was working on the geometry of Washington, D.C., uh, which is really cool, actually. <laughs> it's all Masonic and uh, it's all loaded. I mean, it's really cool. So, so when I was working on the geometry here, so Chris naturally, naturally Chris being Chris, chimed in and uh, we started working on looking at uh, uh, symmetries and geometries in the Chaco buildings. And um, what we found out, uh, which was really exciting, was is that, uh, it, I mean, it, the, how should I put this? It's long been uh, sort of thought that, you know, if these guys were really sophisticated, they would have had a unit of measure. And if we're smart, we can figure it out. But actually, when you get into the geometries, you don't need a unit of measure. You might have one but you don't need it because the way these things are put together is a proportional geometrical concept and it's squaring the circle. And you can see it physically in the, in the house kivas. So you got a circle inside a square. But if you're laying out a great kiva, you can start with, you know, if you say if you have a, a basic uh, measuring stick as small as a, you know, a yardstick, you can, once you develop a radius, uh, you're gonna get the same, it's gonna fall out, circle to square to circle to square to circle to square, and you put that, you superimpose that over these great kivas, and you have a design program, and that does not vary. I mean, these guys are not screwing around. And so, not only do you have the form and the, and the dimensions, uh, you figured out how they're attaining that, but once you get once you get that circle inside the square, you have a whole nother. The square itself is oriented to the cosmos, four sides or in diagonal. The diagonal, so you have six sides that you're orienting already. Then you have a circle in it, and then you can move that circle however you want it. So the the axis of that circle is another thing altogether, and that's what's happening when you superimpose Bonito and Solomon. In Aztec, you can see that you have the same, it's like having the same cylinder block with, with components rearranged inside of it. Some of those components, you can see that there's a distinct relationship between the big kivas and the, and the elevated kiva, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And, and so they're all proportionate using that square? Well, what Chris did, uh, yeah, I think so. Because Chris applied that same formula to the entire building of Del Arroyo, and it works. So, so yeah, they're they're using a proportional, a proportional system, which, which is sort of weird when you look at the spiral, because if you look at the if you look at the buildings of antiquity, they're not necessarily using the golden ratio. They're using sort of an, an aliquot system, uh, equal parts of a whole. So they're taking a whole and dividing it up, and then, and so, so you can, you can build these things without these mathematical models. And in fact, you have to because you don't have the mathematical models. So then the question would be, if you were building Pueblo Bonito and you were making a go golden spiral. How would you do that without modeling it? Uh, because we can definitely tell you that all the rest of these buildings are built with, with, a, with a simple non-Euclidean non proportional ge geometric system. That's just basic. I mean, it's just, this is the way you, you, you take a kid and you say, here's your stick, go build a great Kiva. He can do it. And if he knows the program, if he knows what will make that kiva uh, locked into the cosmos? 
which he probably knows. It's going to be, you know, at the basis, it's going to be moon-sun relationships, and it's also going to be historical and landform relationships, um, or building-to-building -building relationships, which is not all that complicated. He can go out and build a great kiva. I could do it. That would, well, I could do it, but it'd take a long time. <laughs> so, um, God, you look at these things too, and you can see these. You can see these relationships are, you know, they're in the Hopewell stuff. I mean, all these dimensions and relationships and and techniques and symbolism and all this stuff it goes way, way back in North America, South America, Mesoamerica. It's not a matter of a Mesoamerican connection. If there's a Mesoamerican connection, it goes back to the Paleolithic. So uh, anyway, I have to give I have to give Chris. Full credit for the geometry and symmetry argument. 